It was Kids' Day at the Arc on Wednesday, and over 1,500 fans packed the gym as Siena took on visiting UMass. The game was close all the way, and wouldn't be decided until the waning moments. Now inside running lane is good for the first basket of the game. Back outside, open three is good. On the, on the post player trying to get out of that. It's 13 so far. Now Zerotny, she'll pull up just inside the three-point line and knock it down. Really struggling to shoot early on, came in second in the Mac and field goal percentage, all of five now. Now over the top, nice feed, pulls to Soleil for the reverse land. Days in preparation for UMass is mixing up their defenses. Tusher with the step back three, this Cloutier. Three seconds to shoot, Zulo long three is good and we're tied. Been allowing their opponents to shoot 42% from three point range this year. Last in the MAC and UMass is three of three to start the second half. Right in the mix with everything. Two on two with Centeno, Cole to the basket, lays it up, count it! And the foul for T. Coles. Can't find her, now they do. Baseline three, got it! Maya Gerling, Maya Gerling. Gloutier for the answer. Got it. Carolyn Gloutier, Trivia. He's been forcing the turnover. Excellent defense in transition. But then Zulo picks her pocket and gets her right back. RNC came in 15 points a game, second on the MAC, just one point on all five shooting. Centeno step back, three is good. Sienna's really keying in in the middle of the floor in transition, and they're finding their shooters all over the place. Side to Cloutier, Cloutier, little fadeaway, well off the mark. Right there, though, is Watson for another putback. Centeno hands off Gerling. Maya drives the lane, off balance, off the window, too strong. Rebound by Robinson, tied up and foul with 13.5 to go and five point game 13 and a half to go Saints need something in a hurry here Coles driving in gets to the lane lays it up and in flash to the middle of the floor just like she was just about to got a foul here it's deflected away who's got it ball loose on the court two seconds to go Saints got to get rid of it a timeout taken Sienna did not have a timeout is that somebody on the floor from Sienna called a timeout and it is now a technical foul because oh. Sienna didn't have any timeout for UMass as the Minutemen get the fifth career victory number 500, 500th win all time for UMass as they survive Siena, 58-53, third straight win for the Minute Women. I mean, I thought we played a lot better, uh, you know, in terms of change. I think we, we showed a lot of good things today. Um, just offensively, we had a lot of empty possessions, you know, we just were kind of rushing passes early on and, you know, we weren't able to score because of the turnovers, so, but I thought we really played well, you know, we, we did a good job. I thought Teresa Coles did a really nice job. Job. And, you know, I think overall we were a much better team today. And so, you know, I'm happy with that. Obviously, I'm not happy with the loss, but I definitely think we can build on this. I mean, I just hope that we can take out this game, that we really just need to stay strong. We need to be able to keep our momentum, keep up our energy, and really just follow through with our shots, our rebounds, our defense. And as long as we keep playing strong for the whole entire 40 minutes, then we'll capitalize on it.